Welcome to the Informatica Cloud, the industry's first enterprise data integration platform as a service. Today we're going to talk about deployment of the Informatica Cloud. Now whenever you have a software project, uh, especially ones in the cloud, uh, you generally want a development and test environment to get all your work solid and then promote it into production. That makes for new projects as well as changes to existing projects. Right, so there's no difference in your integration as you move changes between your backend system from dev to production or your salesforce.com sandbox from development and production. You also want to move your integration of the service. So let me show you just how to do that. It's called migrate task with the Informatica Cloud. Let's go ahead and get started. So we log into the Informatica Cloud um, and then we can simply come over here to administration and go to migrate task. Right, so it's really another wizard, right? We definitely, Informatica Cloud is known for its wizards. And you have a seven step process here, and most of these are just checkpoints um, to go through. Essentially, it's one page, so let me go ahead and start my migration. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to log into the Informatica Cloud org that you want to migrate from. Right, so I'm in my production org, I want to migrate from my sandbox org. Right, so I define that. There's my sandbox org. Now I want to define what task I want to move into my production org, right? Which dev task do I want to grab? Right, so I'm going to grab this contact load because it's all working in my sandbox environment. Um, now I want it to run in my production environment as well. So it tells me the connections that I have, right? Sandbox, file store, and, and then Salesforce sandbox. And of course, these can be any endpoints. It could be the database to database or file to file or, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, Salesforce or something or something else out there. But let's go ahead and migrate connections. So the connections that we just saw were the two sandbox uh, connections. Let's bring those guys over. Right, and that's just about all there is to it. I'm going to migrate this task, um, these connections, right? And I have existing connections that are similar, but I'm going to go ahead and rename these. That makes it for a truer best practice type environment for what you call configuration management. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and migrate these tasks. I hit OK. And I was successful. So I can go to my iLog and I can see what happened. So it tells me very nicely that uh, here's what happened. I went and I grabbed this information, uh, created new connections, a new uh, task was created, and everything's done. So let's go check it out. So my configuration, remember we migrated those two sandbox connections. Um, you know, what I like to do is go ahead and take those and let's just rename them to a sandbox or Salesforce production. Um, now, if I, now actually, sandbox would be uh, one username password. I'd make it another one, right? So I could test that connection, and then I'm good. Now the same thing with my files. Um, so I actually had my sandbox file store. Um, this could have been a database or, or another Salesforce instance, um, but I can actually call it now my production file store. All right, and if I had a different path where those files were, I could change that as well. Um, but this is how you do it. You know, we can go ahead and test this guy, make sure he's okay. All right, so now we can go look for that task that we migrated over. So if you take a look, it was called contact load student one. And now it's already set up with my uh, new production connection, which is essentially the same as my sandbox connections, except for I just renamed them um, because they're now in my production cloud org. Uh, and now I can go ahead and edit this task or run it and I'm done. That's it for today. Hope you guys learned something. Have a good day.